All right. Let's complete the task six. It says deploy an ASP.NET web application to web apps. So in the last video, we created our backend API. Now we are going to deploy a ASP.NET application. Okay. So for that, we need to go to file menu, open folders, and then in the file explorer window, browse to here. So if you guys remember in the very first video, we downloaded the Git repository. So we need to go to this particular folder. Okay. And then in the explore panel of VS code window. So what I will do is we'll first go and start the VS code. Okay. Now we need to go to the path lab 01 starter API. Okay. Controller. So I'll go back to the VS code file open folder and I'll just put the path here. So in the controllers select folder. Okay, so here is image controller.cs. Now let's go to the task. Okay, it says controller. Select the image controller.cs file. Open this one. Okay, this is how our code looks like. Now it says in the editor in the image controller class on the line 26, observe the get cloud blob container method and the code used to retrieve a container. Okay. So if we go here at the line number 26, so 26 is this one. So here we have a method which will retrieve the blob container from the cloud. Okay. And in the image controller class line 36, observe the get method and the code used to retrieve all blobs asynchronously from the images container. Okay. So now if you see this particular method, get cloud blob container. So this guy will fetch the container in the get method. It will keep on fetching all the blobs stored in this particular container. Okay. Now in the images controller class, line 55, observe the post method and the code used to persist and upload the image to storage. So in the next method, we whatever you will upload, that will be, it will upload the image to our container basically right so basically this one is to fetch the container and here we are retrieving the data like whatever we have in the container and this particular method is to upload blob data to the container okay now on the task bar select windows terminal and okay so now we need to go and open the azure cli so if i want i can simply go and open the azure cli from here itself let me just open a new terminal terminal Okay, what it says you type as a login. Okay, let me just type here as a login. Let me just make it big for you guys. So it should open a browser. Okay, it's here. Now what is next when you type as a login, it will ask you to log into your Azure account. Okay, perfect. So let's go. So I already have my ID. I just need to put my password. It says you have logged into Microsoft Azure. Okay, perfect. Now let's see. Okay, now here you can see you have logged in and here is my user ID. Okay, here is my tenant ID. Perfect. Let's go and see what is next. Now it says at the command prompt, enter the following command. So you need to type this command here as add web app list and then resource group type this one okay so let's go here and type as a web app okay it's one word list dash g is resource group so group name is managed platform so what this particular command do is it will fetch all the web applications which are there in this particular resource group okay now here you see you have got the response now we need to enter the following command that what this guy is doing is like if you see here we have got so many things now we'll just look for our app backend api image api okay so we'll make use of same command but apart from that i will add this thing will query uh, so i'll just fetch paste this one hit enter now let's see the difference now here you will just get only one record image api so this is for your Okay, let's see what is next. 
Now enter the following command and then select enter or render only the image of the single API that has the image API prefix. Okay. So again, we need to modify this string search string. So let me just explain this particular string here. What is happening that we are listing all the web applications which are there in this particular resource group managed platform and then from the output we are querying we are looking for all the API, APIs which is starting with starts with image API okay now we'll just need to update this one now we are just going to fetch the API name and it should display the output in the TSV tab separated views hit enter so here is our web application name image API okay azure okay now it says that enter the following command enter the following command and fetch to read only name of your single app okay now next is enter the following command and then select enter to change the current directory of the files to starter api directory okay so what i will do is currently we see we are inside the container so i just go back so we'll be here in the apis that is what this one is to do okay now we need to enter this particular following command to deploy our code okay so this is the command and it's still very important to understand this particular command here we need this command to deploy the asp.net applications to our cloud so the command is as it web app deployment source config zip so basically our source file is zip file resource group name this one source is api.zip dash name and here we need to enter the application name okay so now let me just show you something here let, let me just first get copy this particular command i'll copy from here and i will update this command i just need the application name enter of oh, something went wrong so i'll just make it correct deployment as a zip and the name i'll just type here image api okay is it you re application name deployment hit enter so this will do the deployment for us starting zip deployment so this is the very important thing so you must understand this particular syntax here as a web app deployment means we are deploying the application source is a zip file resource group name src is api.zip name and here is the your application name now if you go and look for your so here is your api.zip that is what you are going to deploy so now it's done let's go and see what is next task so wait for the deployment to complete it is done now in the azure portal go to your resource group go to your managed platform inside your resource group select this one look for the image api and click on the browse okay perfect now let's go here so i'll just close this one everything i'll go to resource group here i'll look for managed platform here i'll look for the image api okay it's here and we have to click on browse so here is browse okay so here is our backend api so basically if you guys remember this is how it was initially and now we have deployed code to our backend api so this is returning a json so basically this is returning the data which is there in our storage account so there is only one image grilled cheese here it is browse done perform get request you will see the data okay now it says that close your current running vs code terminal now we need to build a front end web application so i'll simply exit out of this one because we don't need this one anymore so we'll build the front end web, web application okay so we'll build the front end web application in the next video